Good morning. It is 7.15 in the morning and I thought I'd give you a little look at the garden after the rain. So let me turn things around for you and I can't do that. All right. So our peppers, still looking good. I planted some sort of flower there. Don't remember what I planted, but we'll find out. And more ink caps because, you know, that's what I grow. And I hope I mentioned before, this is one of the, um, the plants that I bought like at the big box store. It has got these peppers on it. You see those peppers? That one down there? This is the tag that was on it. Let's see if you can see it. I don't think that's what this is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, please let me know. But yeah, the pepper, everything's doing fine. I found a massive potato worm again. Massive on my potato plants. Look at That's the massive poops. They look like little hand grenades. Anyway, the potatoes are doing good. I don't know if I mentioned before, right along this trellis, I don't think I had the trellis up before. That's, um, cucumbers all these peppers oh, I got a few blossoms on my poblanos and then that's the okra and I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera too fast I'm just getting the hang of all this and then the other half the potato plants and my silver slicer cucumbers and this one as you can see, is hooking on, doing okay. My tomato plants, like I said in the previous one, I'm pretty sure that's some sort of blight, but I don't know. Uh, this tomato is ripening. If you can see, like right under here, this branch is getting too heavy, it cracks. So I assume nothing good can come of that. And uh, the last tomato that was ripening on here, that ripened, I brought it inside to find a worm in it. I keep looking at these plants, but I can't. I'm not seeing, I only found one little tiny tomato worm on it. I don't see any more. And if you look, you can see that this, these plants, they just got bushy and are, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't stake them up soon enough, so. And they're too close together. I did trim them so they weren't touching the ground, but now leaves have come and start touching the ground. We got our garden spider, hopefully doing his job. Still the rogue onions. That one bald. These ones, I don't know what they're doing. This ginormous thing, oh, can you see in there? And it had gone to seed, flowered and all that. So I'm just letting, I'm just kind of letting all these guys do their thing. I don't know if I mentioned before that that's a, uh, a scarlet runner bean. I just went, put it in there because I didn't know what else to do with it. And then the other day, and then that's uh, lemon thyme, uh, lemon balm, and there was a bee balm, but I guess it's not perennial. It's only annual. I don't know, but it didn't come back. Now I planted in some, I think it was these ones. Could have been these ones. But I planted some squash seeds just for the heck of it. Let's see if they'll grow, because I don't know. Scarlet runner beans and nasturtium. The biggest thing I have is, I don't know what anything looks like when it grows. So I'm like, is it, oh, something's eating this. Look at that, something ate that. Why the, it's, it's so weird that things are getting eaten. And it's like, I come out here and I can't find anything. It's like, what is eating all these things? But anyhow, back to what I was saying. I don't know what they're supposed to look like when they're supposed to, I mean, I looked it up. They're supposed to go into a pod, but is it right after the flower? Uh, I don't know. 
Onions are still looking good. I think I need to pull them out soon, but I don't know when. The rain totally decimated my chard. So I don't think I'm gonna have any chard. I pulled up the lettuce and the potatoes. I got 10 pounds of potatoes out of those. Got rid of the lettuce because it had bolted. That's my yellow, this yellow squash plant is doing fabulous. And this one's doing pretty good. Again, those zucchini plants, pretty rough. And then I planted in the center here, I planted another, at least one zucchini. I thought I may have planted two, but I don't remember. And I had planted some corn around this ginormous sweet potato plant. I had mentioned that I put a sweet potato that had gone to seed. No, a sweet potato that started sprouting from my kitchen sink. And I just put it in the ground and now it's growing. And if nothing comes of it, fine, but it's pretty to look at, that's fine too. Then I planted some corn around it and it's all come up, why is this one? But you know, the rain just like beat, beat it down. So last fall, I said I, God, bugs. I said I had planted um, only in pots. Well, but not exactly sure. I planted in those repurposed cat litter um, boxes. I don't know what they're called, the cat litter things. I cleaned them out and I, pff, stop it, bugs. And I planted in those. I had tomato plants on one, I had peppers in the other. It was just uh, the determined tomatoes, and I got was husker cherry and yellow pear, and I got a few. I didn't get much, and then I didn't get any. Well, the pepper plant I had bought had come with um. Okay, let me let me turn this. Up. So the pepper plant that I had purchased had come with um one uh pepper already on it so I was like okay I'll get that one I got that one and then that pepper um, got sick I don't know something happened I can't remember exactly what happened to it I don't know if that, uh, and then I got another one I think or maybe it was the same one and um, it got blo one of them got blossom and rot whether or not it was the same one I'm not sure and I'm sorry for the video being shaky but I'm just holding it, that my phone in my hand and um, so I really didn't get much and that was in the fall and it was really super hot and the tomatoes just kept dropping their blossoms because you know, I still don't know anything. I knew less even then. Hey, Manchi. Hi, puppies. Hi, puppies. And um, yeah, so what else did I plant in? I know I had those. Oh in the beds, when the bed that I'm sitting on, the wooden beds, and I'll show you, I'll flip it around again and show you. I had made a makeshift little bed out of that, but it was like, I had made it 10 by, I don't know, it was huge, 10 by six. And then I realized, well, that's ridiculous because I can't get into the center of it. So then I switched it out to be, um, well, that's bad. I switched it out to be uh, 10 by, uh, I just put a path down the middle so I could get to either side. So I made it three by eight. I think it was six by eight. And then at the end of that bed, I had just thrown some cardboard down and threw some compost down. And on one, one end of it, I had planted um, pumpkins. And on the other end, I had tried planting corn. Well, the corn grew, oh, and some um, bush beans. Well, the corn grew and the bush beans grew. I got a few bush beans. It was the Royal Burgundy ones and the corn grew. And, um, oops, I'm always putting my finger over the camera. And the corn grew, but it didn't grow very well. And it got one or two, I think I only got four ears off of it. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. I'll get better at this, sorry people. All you peoples out there in YouTube land, anyone who ever watches this, if you watch this, I am so happy and blessed that anyone's watching this. I'm just, I, I watch Roots and Refuge Farm and she had said that her videos were a way of um, 
think I'm going to shake as much as if I got off my toes. Her videos were a way of, um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Journaling, I, for lack of a better word, um, her progress. Oh, you guys see this? Look at this. So I had mentioned last time that I had mentioned I had mentioned last time that this my runner beans was not um, tall enough because here's the end of the structure. So they're just going totally Whoville and just wrapping around each other and just going up. Oh, there's a wasp up there. Do you see that wasp? Let me see if I can show you that wasp because I got. Hold on. Oh, I can't do it from this angle. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. Boy, I think that's the closest I've got to a wasp in my life. I know. Anyway, so I'm kind of like journaling. Anyway, um, I plan on posting up. I made a few videos of um, my... Uh, I'm gonna flip this back around. No one needs to look at videos me. Videos of um, that fall garden. And I'll try and find them and edit them. Editing is not my strong suit. I'll try and find them and edit, edit them for uh, and put them up. But yeah, so anyway, corn, that's what I was saying. So I plant some corn. Look at this. Somebody's already eaten that, some of that corn. It's like, where are these insects that are eating my crops here? This is my eggplant, and I'm like 95% certain that it's got flea beetles. Because I find these little, oh, let me see if I can zoom it. It's got little holes, and I think if I can zoom in on this, I don't think I can get that close. Anyway, it looks like that might be a, right up the top, a flea beetle. Anyway. Nancy, stop trying to eat those onions. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so the sweet potato looks very pretty. So if it never mounts to anything, that's okay. I got, I thought I had, oh, there it is, okay. So I got two, four, six, seven, eight. Then, so I planted six on either side of the sweet potatoes and then I planted um there's the culprits look at these guys I got these weird maybe see a snail like that it's weird anyway so six on either side of the sweet potato plant and then on that six on this side let me see. Six on this side, six on this side, and then one left right to it. Now I thought I had not planted this one, but it just came up later than the others. And these poor zucchinis, man. I just want to grow some zucchini anyway. What's up, Manchi? My onions are looking good. And I don't know how freaking lemon trees grow. I mean, I had blossoms and then the blossoms just fell off, but nothing. <laughs> Woo! This sucker's got thorns. I wonder, it's all coming. Woo! Mother jumper. That's Holy crud, why does it got thorns? I know I had, I think I had read something about, why does it got thorns? Holy Jesus. It's just this one branch has got, is it this one? Thorns. Okay, I have to look that up. Jesus, bloody heck, I just freaking. Anyway, the funny thing is, is just before it rained, Oh, what are you doing over here? This is over here because of the rain. We got a sudden like massive downpour yesterday. And I had just 
put my uh, rain barrel in right before it, oh man, that really hurts, right before it rained and now it is full. It was like overflowing. I need to get another one. This is great. And the good thing is, is that this, this trash can thing works perfectly fine. My straw is dry. And my daughter's, oh man, that really, my finger is itching more that I got stuck with that thorn. My daughter's wildflowers are coming up. No clues what they are, but they're coming up. And of course the curly bugs are gonna eat all the seedlings. Get out of here, you curly bug. Need to get an actual camera. There's millions of curly bugs in here. I think they're just going to town, going like, oh, that one's, oh, where is it? I mean, some they're eating each other, or maybe. That's how they make babies, who knows. Anyway, and then down here, I just threw some old pumpkin seed, see if it would grow. If it grows, fabulous. If it doesn't grow, then no big deal. Get, 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 get. You cannot come up here, no. As you can see, he already has. And uh, daggone it has a lot of curly bugs. I don't know if those are good for the garden or not. All these, no tomatoes, no tomatoes. I feel like they all got blight. I don't know what blight looks like. They don't have any tomatoes. And then, well, this one, this one here has got a few tomatoes on it. It broke off of one of the other uh, ones in the pots because, you know, the wind. I, and I just put it in there. I thought it might grow, it might not. Same thing with this one, but it doesn't have no tomatoes on it. Then, this one has a tomato, but I'm like, look at that, where, where is the end of that? Is that normal? I don't know. And then there's tomatoes on this. Where are you? Tomatoes starting to get ripe. There's a few tomatoes on this one. More up there. And there's a few on this one where I cannot find them. Where are you? There you go. And that's that. And then Echinacea's got some blooms. They haven't opened yet. Strawberry plants. I threw a, a, threw a few flower seeds in here. I don't remember what they were. I'm hoping they'll uh, grow. And then this was salvia last fall. I thought salvia was perennial. I guess it's not. Something's growing in there. It's probably just a weed. We're gonna let it grow. That looks like purslane growing in that rosemary. I thought rosemary was annual, but I guess it's not. Um, again, Minchie, my dog. And my echinacea again, it's got some flowers. I like that this one's got tall. Oh, hopefully they'll grow. And, yeah, and that's pretty much all I've got for this, uh, let's say Tuesday morning of my garden tour. It's not much different than what I gave you uh, last week, but I thought I'd give you a little look after the rain. So thank you for watching if you watched all the way through this and hopefully I'll find things to um, video and keep getting more and more stuff put up. I appreciate you watching all the way through the end if you did and uh, have a good day wherever you are. Thank you.